Vinylist S tier skin, new Vinylist A tier accessory with special effect. Hey bears, I am the gaming Grizzly and welcome back to Identity 5 and we have a new package in the game, it is called At Moonrise. It includes an S tier skin for the violinist which is called the Crescent Knight as well as an A tier accessory with a special effect which is called Moonlight. I'm very excited to check out this new skin because it looks really really cool. I'm gonna jump into a gameplay today showing you guys what the skin looks like and the accessory looks like in action. But before we do that, as always, make sure to leave me a fat like. A comment in the comment section below if you are going to get this skin and of course if you're new subscribe to the gaming Chrisley. all right let's jump into some gameplay all right all right all right here it is the crescent knight the new s tier skin for the violinist we have a mind's eye which allows us to take a few moments to admire this skin first before we start moving because they know my location all right let's go i really like that we can also see a little bit of steam or rather the ghost aura on this skin that's a really really nice touch and we are going into the direction of god kite which is one of the most terrible kiting areas for me as hunter great for the survivors but for me as hunter to actually get someone it's gonna be difficult let me see let me see let me see okay we hit the doctor she hit me fair enough fair exchange of hits let me see if i can trick her into vaulting no i can't okay 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 She's trying to heal up. We need to prevent her from healing up. Can we do it in time? I think we can. Yeah, I think we... Oh, no, no, not if I'm doing that. I also want to mention that I usually do not play the violinist, so I'm just... Oh, that's gonna be... No, not gonna be a stun. That's it, that's it. I usually do not play the violinist, so I'm not completely familiar with his skills and how his music notes work. I know that if you put on the music notes and in between the lines you have a survivor, that survivor is taking damage. So I'm trying my best to use his skill. But at the end of the day, this gameplay is to show off the skin. We already have one cypher machine ready. Alright, let me see if I can perfume her this. As you can see, I'm a little bit slow, but hey, it works! It, it, it works! As you can see, I'm a little bit slow, but we got the Perfumer down. Perfumer's getting on the chair as well, forcing either the Mind's Eye or the Mercenary for to come for the rescue, which will probably be the Mercenary, like Mind's Eye will decode. They have to decode with the Mind's Eye. Let me see. Oh, there he is. <laughs> can I hit him with the music note? I probably can't. I probably... No, I probably can't. I'm trying to... Oh, it's gone? It's gone! No! Perfect, perfect! I hit the mercenary. Ah, great job. Great job. Okay, I only have like a five second window of actually... Oh god, I can't. Ah, god, of course she is. Um, I only have a five second window where this music note will work. Let me see if I can... No, I can't, but we can hit her like that. There we go, she goes down anyway. Okay, now we have the perfumer. We had the... Mm, the doctor? I was just about to say, we had the doctor almost dead. Alright, 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 let's just get her right here. If you want to take that hit, sure, take it. If you want to take your time healing up again, sure, take that time. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, can we hit her? No, the music note! No, she's gonna heal! No, I knew it, she's gonna heal and rescue. They are already down to two Cypher machines. I felt like I was doing... A pretty decent chop right here, but still. Oh, we have the last effort on the perfumer. I kind of lost the doctor. She gotta be yeah. She's up here. Is she not? Oh, she's not. Okay, let's just stay in the way. She can't really pass us. She will go down right here. There we go. No. Oh! PC controls everyone. I'm just pressing my buttons right here. Um, clearly it was the wrong one. There we go. This time we got her. <laughs> She's out of the game. I can't remember where the perfumer went. Which is not really good. They are down to one cypher machine? Jesus. Really, really good job. Mercenary healed up. Okay, I have my tinnitus. So someone is around. Let's just change the teleport. Oh, I can see. Okay, I can see the scratch marks. I can see the... Mercenary. I was hoping for the Perfumer to be honest. Oh, nice dash. Perfumer is up. 
Okay, we have a little bit of a struggle, so I have teleportation. As soon as I get the mercenary, I will try to find the cipher machine that they, are, that they are decoding on because I can't waste my time on the mercenary. Let's go over there. It's wiggling. It is the mine's eye, finally! Oh! How did that not hit? Excuse me, how was that not a hit? There we go. I wish I could find the perfumer because she's almost out of the game. Let me see if I can do a very, very... No, I can't do anything. That's great. No, no. She's running, she's running. At least she's running away from the cypher machine and I don't think the other two cypher machines are anywhere to be finished. So as soon as we get the mind's eye, I don't think that they are able to... Nice! Nice! We got the mercenary too. Um, yeah, they are not able to pop the cypher machine, which is crucial. So that means we now have the mind's eye on the chair and I will be able to put the mercenary probably into the basement. Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. He was right there in the tent. Let's go. That's gonna put the perfume in a tough spot. She still has her <laughs> entire health up. But I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Come on, perfumer. Perfume yourself to the cypher. Uh, <laughs> perfume yourself to the rocket chairs. Get that rescue. Oh, she's close. She's close. She will get the mind's eye. Yeah. Let's see what we can do with the music, mo music notes. I still don't really understand that skill. I just... I just don't. Okay, what are we doing right here? I really don't care who I am hitting at this point. Because if I get the mind's eye, she's the one who's decoding, but they are not anywhere close to finishing the cypher machines. And if I get the perfumer, there we go, there we go, we got the mind's eye. If I get the perfumer, she is dead on chair. So let's just concentrate on the perfumer right here. Mind's eye can probably still get up. So we are slowing her down. This is actually the first time I'm using this skill. It's super, super useful, but as I said, I'm usually not playing the violinist, so I'm missing out a little bit on his skills. And music note right here. No, I don't, I don't. Never mind. You know what? We're just gonna hit her. There we go. Mind's eye is up. See, I think that's a good thing. I think the cypher machine in the tent was already pretty good decoded and if I had um, let the mines I decode that cypher machine, I would have been in a lot more trouble. She's not decoding. Both survivors are out of the game now. We have one survivor left. She's over there. She's probably trying to find the dungeon. I mean, she obviously is trying to find the dungeon as last survivor. Is it right there? If it's right there, she's gonna escape. Like, I can't do anything. Yeah, it is right there. Good job, Mind's Eye. Great job, Mind's Eye. The Crescent Knight, I really, really enjoyed this gameplay. It makes a lot of fun playing as Violinist, even if I am not using the skill in the right way. But I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay anyway. If so, make sure to leave me a fat like, also a comment in the comment section below. And of course, if you're new, Subscribe to the gaming Chrissy. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye